antipasto rice salad. What's for dinner? You know, that's always on an Italian's mind. Us Italians, even when we're eating lunch, we are talking about what we're gonna eat for dinner. And here I am in my garden, so it's the appropriate place to think about dinner. Rice salad, especially if you have buffets or in the summer or you're going out, even you're taking the food with you, a picnic, rice salad is the perfect thing and Italians love it. To begin with, you cook some arborio rice with some bay leaves, salted water, cook it, drain it just like pasta, and you let it cool off. Remove the, the bay leaves. Let's get the rice in the bowl. So when you cool it and it, it sort of remains detached, spread it out so it remains detached like that. And so when you toss it, it kind of flows. Now we're gonna add all the other good ingredients to it. A nice cherry tomato, just like that. Do I have enough there? Yeah, maybe I'll chop one or two more. And depends on how big they are. When you make a salad like that, sort of think about the pieces that you're putting in. Are they gonna disappear in it? Do I want a bite size? And that's all up to you. You can make it smaller, a little larger. This is fine as far as the tomatoes. Artichokes, canned artichokes in brine, not in oil, because we're gonna dress the salad, but in brine. So again, I'm talking about pieces. I like to get a nice little piece of artichoke in my mouth. I don't like little uh, uh, pieces, so let's cut it in quarters. Sometimes if it's a smaller artichokes, even half will do. And again, you know, you could alter this recipe. You want more vegetables? You put more vegetables. You want more rice? Less vegetables. Capers. The smaller the caper is, the better. More intense. Roasted peppers. You know, we love our peppers. So I'm looking at this. Yeah, why not? Olives. These are gaeta olives. Uh, they're pitted. And celery. I kind of like this like this, even the leaves. Sometimes you don't use the leaves, but celery leaves are great in salads. Yeah, I think that's good enough. And now for the savory element in here. I like provolone. Provolone is a cheese full of flavor. And you can certainly, you buy it in slices like this, but you have kind of cute options, especially if you have your guests and they see that and say, oh, where did you get that? Did you go to the cheesemonger? So a cut of the provolone, and I'm looking, you know, the portion, I think this is enough. It's pretty soft, but a little bit I like to. Sometimes provolone has, actually it has like here, it has a, a waxy coating, just like that. And that protects it from really drying and becoming a dry cheese. But this leaves the humidity in the cheese. So that's why the provolone is intense in flavor, full of flavor, but it's a semi-soft cheese. And I like that, especially for this salad. So how do I want it? Well, I think I want, you know, we have pretty chunky things. So maybe like this. Do you hear the birds chirp, chirping in my garden? You know, I have my garden, so I have seeds. I have a lot of good things for them to pick on. So we have a lot of birds and I love it. In the morning when I have my coffee, I sit out here and they're chirping, they're serenading me early in the morning. So here is the provolone. Now, this is the way I like my salad today. All right, and this is a pretty full bowl, but we'll get to mix it. The artichokes are salted, so I salted the water for the rice, so not too much salt, but I need a little salt. Pepperoncino, of course, and I like a lot of that. And oil, olive oil, we need to dress. So, you know, we need to dress the rice. And 
Vinegar, so just like a salad. But usually, you know, a rice salad is something that the, in Italy, the women make at home so they don't have to cook a lot. They boil the rice and the rest is all about fresh vegetables or cured vegetables like olives or uh, like artichokes, some cheese, and you got yourself lunch. I'm going to clean this up and we're going to deliver it to the table and enjoy with the family. Hey, welcome. And this is the time in my library where I sort of get away from everything and connect with you and answer your questions and see what you're thinking or what you need to know. So here I have a message from Jim. What can I make myself for dinner after a long day? Well, if I am by myself coming home, I don't like big, big dinners. I'll take a piece of cheese, piece of gran, a nice piece of fresh bread, a few slices of prosciutto, or a nice little salad, and I am fine. If I am hungry, I'll go for pasta. That's the easiest, the most gratifying to me. A lot of times I just sort of look in the fridge for leftovers and reheat the leftovers. But I don't like a big meal late at night. Thanks for your question, Jim. We are ready to serve. I have a nice table set, some grissini, some tarali, some extra cheese, and let's plate the rice. Mm -mm. Oh, the bees are joining us for dinner. You know, dinner is good then. You know, I always like a little extra to the table. In this case, I have prosciutto cotto. You can just buy your prosciutto cotto, nice and sliced thin. And this is a slate top. And it's nice to just drape. When you put your prosciutto or prosciutto cotto, you just drape it like that. Don't lay it flat because people won't be able to pick it up and it will begin to stick and it won't be as beautiful as this rosettes. This is thinly cut. So even if it's thinly cut, if you drop it like this, it's like draping it. Okay. So up where I come from in Trieste, in that area, we use a lot of horseradish. And I have this horseradish in my garden. And a horseradish is a root. And what you do with this root, you cut off the big pieces and then you peel it like a potato, just like that. You see? So you get all the dirt out. But here I have a nice piece that I've cut that I've used actually. You look to use a grater and... Mm. And plenty of horseradish for me. Now, if your guests, some might not like it, you can put the grater and the horseradish just next to this, but otherwise, I would present it just like that. And here we are. So let's make Lydia's little tasting plate. Mmm. Okay. And a little prosciutto. And I'm gonna taste for you. Mm. This reminds me of so many of those light dinners in Italy, when you visit somebody, when you make something. So, you ask what's for dinner? Here it is, a nice rice salad. I'll come to your meal anytime. Mm -hmm.